Hi, this is Makers Ask and I'm Blue. I want to talk today about creativity. People think creativity is some like fantastic gift that you're either born with or you're not. You know, if somebody says, oh my gosh, you're so creative, that's some special thing that you have that no one else does. Uh, this is false. This is a lie. Don't buy this crap. Um, so what is creativity? I think simply put, creativity is nothing more than putting things together that have not been put together before or aren't regularly put together before. How hard is that? It's not very hard, really. Um, in college, I studied under James Christensen, and if you know him, he's well known for being really creative. And in one lecture he gave about creativity, he said simply, um, and I took him literally, he may, he may not have meant it literally, but he said he has a card file. And he would go through and choose cards out of the file and, you know, if he was stuck, and paint from them. So you would choose sad green lobster house and paint it. You use that for an inspiration and jump off there. And then people would say, oh my God, you're so creative. And you'd say, well, yes I am. I was just born that way and uh, it's not a card file at all. <laughs> Anyway, that's that's really in my mind what creativity is and but then the bigger question is why? You know, uh, let's not do it for the big pat on the back of you know, yay, I make I, I matter because I'm creative, you know You matter anyway, just reminding you that you matter whether you're creative or not You matter because you breathe you matter even if you don't <laughs> Okay, that aside why be creative? What, do you, what are you trying to do? What is it you want to, how do you give your greatest gifts to the world? And through creativity in this specific instance. So as artists, we use symbols to, to um, express ourselves. So then it goes along with your voice. How can you put things together that aren't regularly put together in order to create, a, to make a point, to help people think? or to create a visual impact. Some people paint because they want a visual impact. They want to freak you out, or they want to make you feel something, they want to make you feel pleased, pleasant, whatever. Um, I want to make you feel something, but mine is a little more conceptual. So people say to me all the time that my work is creepy, which, no, it's not. So this one that I'm doing is a skull right now. You can see this. Okay, to me that's a spiritual painting. It's a skull with two eyes that are blind and a third eye that's open and seeing. That's not creepy, but it's, it may be creative because you don't often, I'm not the first person to put eyeballs in a skull for goodness sake, but, or, or makes eyes blind, you know, but, uh, but it has visual impact. I want people thinking about um, how are you seeing? Are we seeing with our, our intuition? Or are we seeing with, with just our eyes that are, you know, on this plane? There's a tree, there's a person, he's hot or whatever, you know? Let's, let's see with our intuition more. Okay, that's creativity to me. Um, so when you sit down to, to conceptualize your next painting, maybe you can start to think, how can I use symbols in a new way to push forward my, my voice, to be able to speak with a stronger voice, to make people stop and spend more than one second with my piece? Because, you know, you usually get half a second. And in order to have people hear what it is you have to say, you have to get them to stare at it for more than a second. Maybe they'll even read the title. You really want if they read the title. And sometimes if they read the title, they end up buying the piece. So then you can keep doing this and you know make the world a better, better place for all of humanity. <laughs> That's what we're doing, isn't it? <laughs> all right, this is Ben Maker's Ask and I'm Blue.